everyone, welcome back to Ben Keeping Up. My name is Ben, and the question of the day is, what motivates you to do the hard stuff in life? Comment below. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Today we talk about when to start, how to start, what to start, why to start. Today we're talking about all of it, doing the hard work, getting the grind, moving forward. So why does all of this matter to me? Well, first of all, we all have started things in the past, so why is it so hard now? We get in our own heads about it, we overthink, we dwell on it. I know I have before, and I still do it from time to time. Those dishes are pretty dirty. That pile of laundry is getting bigger and I probably shouldn't put it on the floor. I really should work on that project, but my phone is just so interesting. It's understandable. It's so easy to get distracted because we're, we've built habits around these distractions. We allow these little dopamine hits from social media and news to keep us from being productive in our day to day. It's almost as if our attention is for sale and we're losing the value of ourselves. This should bother you. This should worry you. Time is the only thing that we all have in common. We all have the same amount of hours in our day. We need to be intentional with our time too. We don't wanna work hard all of our lives, shoot for retirement, and then not be able to enjoy it. So here's a little thought experiment. Imagine every minute in your day is a dollar in your bank account. So when you start the day, you've got $1,440 in your bank. At the end of the day, you've got zero dollars in your bank account. Either you use it or you lose it. So how do we spend our money or how do we spend our time? You have just as much time as Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates. So where do they invest their time? Now, of course, everyone's situation is different. Some of us work for a living. We have to pay for our families. A lot of our time goes towards hygiene and we have to eat too. But really allow yourself to budget your time money and see where you have openings in your budget. So now that we have some idea or semblance as to what our time budget is, where can we invest that? Got 50 extra time bucks to go to the gym? Check. Got 30 extra time bucks to read a book? Check. Got 15 time bucks to stay on top of your cleaning so your house isn't a mess? Double check. It's about our intention to invest in ourselves. So how do we start something? Maybe that pile of dishes is just a few days old and it's becoming too much for your mental capacity. I've been there. That pile of clothes looks way too intimidating right now for me to take care of it. I wanna start going to the gym, but I just can't bring myself to do it. Now, I heard of this really great method on how we can handle this very problem. It's called the two minute rule. If something that you want takes longer than two minutes to do, Schedule it, physically put it on a calendar, put it in your phone, make the time for it. But if it takes less than two minutes, just do it. Get it over with. The longer that you wait, the more you're going to justify not doing that thing. You're gonna think of reasons in your head as to why you shouldn't do it right now. And then you regret not doing the thing. So once you build this habit, life becomes that much more efficient and productive. You can be a lot more intentional with what you do and when you do it. You'll be able to achieve more and more. This is probably the easiest way for you to open this many doors in your life, regardless of who you are. Because remember, the more you do, the more you can do. It's almost like having a superpower, but it's the superpower of being able to achieve more with your life. So that's all I have for today. I hope you liked it. Please feel free to leave me both good and slash or bad feedback in the comment section. I would love to be able to grow as a channel and learn more and more about how I can best make these videos entertaining. Feel free to check out some of my other content up here. Otherwise, good journey, safe travels. Peace.